everyone this is Jay Kalpana here in this video we are going to solve the given differential equation so let's get going problem solve x plus 1 into dy by dx minus 2y equals to x plus 1 whole power 4 solution given differential equation x plus 1 into dy by dx minus 2y equals to x plus 1 power 4. Okay. Now, we need to make this differential equation to standard form of linear equation. Okay. We are going to reduce the given equation to standard form of linear equation. We know that the standard form of linear equation is dy by dx plus p into y equals to q which is a linear equation and y right so here if you notice you are having the quotient of dy by dx is 1 but here you are having x plus 1 so in order to make this or reduce this to a standard form we need to eliminate x plus 1 as the quotient of dy by dx. Simply, we need to get 1 instead of x plus 1 as a quotient of dy by dx. For that purpose, what we'll do is we'll simply divide the whole equation with x plus 1. Okay, or LHS and RHS can be divided by x plus 1. Okay, then you'll get x plus 1 into dy by dx minus 2y by x plus 1 equals to x plus 1 power 4 by x plus 1. Then here 1 x plus 1 gets cancelled and you'll get x plus 1 power 3 that is x plus 1 whole cube. In LHS part you're having two terms in the numerator and one term in the denominator so we can split this into two terms x plus 1 into dy by dx by x plus 1 minus 2y by x plus 1 equals to if 1 x plus 1 gets cancelled you'll get x plus 1 whole cube okay here also x plus 1 gets cancelled see we have eliminated x plus 1 from the first term right so now you will get the equation of dy by dx is 1. Then dy by dx minus 2 by x plus 1 into y equals to x plus 1 whole cube. So we have reduced the given equation to standard form of linear equation. Then dy by dx you are having right p into y equals to q. Simply compare this equation with the standard form of linear equation. So this equation is in, it is in linear equation form, right, or linear equation in y. Now by comparing these two, we will get p equals to minus 2y x plus 1 which is a function of x and q equals to x plus 1 whole q. Now we need to find the integrating factor. We know that the integrating factor of a linear equation in y is given by e power integral p dx. 
3 dx. Now let's find integrating factor. I f equals to e power integral 3 dx which is equal to e power integral p for p equals to minus 2 y x plus 1 into dx. Now let's write the constants outside the integral. This equals to or I f equals to e power minus 2 into integral 1 by x plus 1 into dx. Since we know that integral 1 by a x plus b into dx equals to 1 by a into log mod a x plus b plus integral constant c. Then for a equals to 1 and b equals to 1, we will get integral 1 by simply compare this to, you will have a equals to 1 and b equals to 1, right? Then you will get equals to 1 by 1 log more for a equals to 1 and b equals to 1, x plus 1, which is equals to log x plus 1, right? Or you can use Integral f dash of x by f of x into dx equals to log mod f of x plus c. Right. For f of x, to take x plus 1, to consider x plus 1 as f of x, then f dash of x equals to derivative of x with respect to x is 1 and plus derivative of 1. That is constant with respect to x is 0, which is equal to 1, right? Now, for f dash of x equals to 1 and f of x equals to x plus 1, you'll get integral 1 by x plus 1 into dx equals to log more x plus 1. Okay? You can write this as log x plus 1. You can use any of these two formulas is equals to e power minus 2 into integral 1 by x plus 1 dx is log x plus 1 which is equals to e power. We know that m log n can be written as log n power m then you can write minus 2 log x plus 1 as log x plus 1 power minus 2 right which is equals to log 1 by x plus 1 whole square okay then you'll get e power log is equals to e power log 1 by x plus 1 whole square or we know that e power log some function of x equals to function of x then this becomes function of x that is x plus 1 power minus 2 again you can write x plus 1 power minus 2 as 1 by x plus 1 whole square. Okay. Either you can replace log x plus 1 for minus 2 as log 1 by x plus 1 whole square or you can do like this. Okay. See. This equals to e power log 1 by x plus 1 whole square. Since e power log some function of x equals to function of x then you can write this is equals to function of x. Then 
therefore integrating factor equals to 1 by x plus 1 whole square now we need to find the general solution to the given equation right so the general solution of linear equation that is reduced equation of the given equation which is a linear equation is the general solution to the given equation we know that the general solution of linear equation which is in dy by dx plus p into y equals to q form. This is a linear equation in y. Okay. It's given by y into integrating factor equals to integral q into integrating factor into dx plus c. So using this formula, we'll find the general solution to the given equation. The general solution of the given equation is y into integrating factor 1 by x plus 1 whole square equals to integral q. x plus 1 whole q into integrating factor 1 by x plus 1 whole square into dx plus c. So here x plus 1 whole square gets cancelled that is 2x plus 1 gets cancelled right. Then y by x plus 1 whole square equals to integral x plus 1 into dx plus c. Then y by x plus 1 whole square equals to, we can just split this into integral x dx plus integral 1 dx plus c, which is equal to integral x dx is x squared by 2 plus, since we know that integral 1 dx equals to integral dx equals to x plus integral constant c, already we have integral constant c right so we'll write only x integral 1 dx is x plus integral constant c then y equals to now take this x plus 1 whole square to rhs you'll get x plus 1 whole square into x squared by 2 plus x plus c so this completes the problem. So we have seen a problem from linear equations in this video. Hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.